Hello Grateful Spirits, welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Camilla Lane and welcome to the Grateful Spirit Faith. If you are new to this channel, welcome. We're super excited to have you on this channel. We talk about God, we talk about Jesus, and we talk about anything encouraging and uplifting for your soul. So thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about prayer journaling and the benefits of it, and actually how you can use prayer journaling to develop your intimacy with the Lord. But before we get started into this video, let's go ahead and start out in prayer as always. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us together today. Thank you so much for your grace, Lord, and your guidance throughout our lives. We ask that you continue to love us, Lord, continue to be patient with us, and continue to guide us on our journey. Thank you so much for being here for us. Thank you for being the, the God that we need, Lord. Thank you for just being so compassionate, being so forgiving, and just being so merciful for us, Lord. We just want to thank you. We just want to always give our love to you in advance. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, we're going to talk about prayer journaling and the benefits of prayer journaling. So um, I have been prayer journaling for some time now, and it's actually a really good way to develop your intimacy with God. So a lot of the times I get questions on my Instagram channel, like how to stay in constant communication with God, how to grow the intimacy with God, or how to even just like open up to God to become closer and all these amazing questions that all the beautiful ladies had. And I just wanted to kind of just do one video on one thing that actually helped me. Um, of course, reading the Bible and understanding God's word is number one, okay? That's one of the ways that's going to help you develop complete, pure intimacy with the Lord is reading the word, but also writing out uh, the word is actually amazing as well. So prayer journaling is a way that you can connect with God on deeper levels. Prayer journaling has amazing benefits. For me, I've been able to connect with God. I've been able to express myself to him um, with any type of problems that I may be having in my life. It's just been able to open up that door. So prayer journaling is a benefit for you uh, to actually open up the door to grow with the Lord. Um, even when we're writing out scripture or we're writing out our feelings on paper, it has a very powerful effect, okay? It's a, it's a way to express and, and not be judged, you know? So when you carry a prayer journal, um, you can start the prayer journal out by saying like, dear God, thank you for today, or you know, Lord, thank you for this. I always start my prayer journaling with, you know, God, thank you, thank you for this day. And then I just kind of go into like how I'm feeling. Um, it's basically a prayer that you would say out loud, but you're actually writing it in a journal. And the benefits for this is because when you're writing, writing is a form of healing, writing is a form of expression. So you're able to get these feelings out of your body and put them on paper or get the feelings out of your head and put them on paper. Constant, you know, we're always in our head, we're always thinking a lot and sometimes we need to put it out on paper. So having a prayer journal is a way that you can grow closer to God because it's going to allow you to express yourself to him. Okay, it's going to allow you to open up yourself. It's going to allow you to connect with him. Um, it's a way of just writing all your prayers out and also keeping track of them. Um, I think having a prayer journal has definitely benefited my life because I like to I like to go back and read what I wrote. Like I'm going to show you all my prayer journals throughout the years. Okay, so these are all of my prayer journals throughout the years. Okay. <laughs> I have one here. <clears throat> this is my one for 2020. Um, and then this is, I put the dates at the top. This is 2018. You can see it's all, it's all falling apart on me. This one is also from 2019. This one's from 2019, which is like falling apart on me. Um, and then this one's also 2019. And then I have some other ones here. These are all prayer journals. And basically what I like to do is like, once a month, I'll pull these prayer journals out from like, you know, the dusty bookshelves and I'll read through them. I'll read through my prayers um, from two years ago. I'll read through my prayers from months ago. And sometimes when you go back and read what you wrote to God, you actually will be so amazed at like the things that are coming out of your heart, the things that you're expressing. So like, for instance, if I were to take this journal from 2019, which was just last year, um, right when you open it, I started it on January 1st, 2019, and I said, I'm grateful. I started telling God I was just grateful for his blessings, his love, his guidance. And going back and reading these, 
sometimes brings me to tears. And it, it, it just reminds me of how close you can actually begin to become when you are prayer journaling, when you're writing this out. It's like proof positive. You know, I have, um, these journals are, so these journals are filled with prayers. They're filled with um, poems that I've written to God. They're filled with love notes that I've written to God. They, um, they have a lot, <laughs> okay? Like I literally write, my entire feelings in these journals. Like um, one of my journals, it's like my, I call it my faith journal. Like when faith, uh, worry ends, when faith begins journal, that journal is completely full of so many things that happened in my life from a few years ago when I was like facing eviction, when I had lost my job, when I got my car repo. <laughs> like, yeah, I've been through some stuff, okay? so. When I look back at these prayer journals and I was praying out to God in these hard times in my life, and then I'm able to look back and see when he answered these prayers for me is so amazing, okay? So keeping a prayer journal is not just to just keep a prayer journal, or write in it and store it away forever. You actually want to keep a prayer journal, write in it, write out your heart to the Lord, and you want to go back into those prayer journals and you want to read Reread what you wrote. You want to read what you wrote. You want to understand like the growth that you've had in your faith walk with the Lord and your spiritual walk with God. You want to be able to have like proof positive of your experiences with God. And one of the best ways to do that is to keep track of it and to document this journey. And a way to document this journey would be in a prayer journal. And you can always keep these prayer journals for reference. Like I would suggest doing once a month, if you have a bunch of journals that are just in a box, grab one journal from that box or off your bookshelf and read that journal once a month. Grab a journal and just read through it, okay? Read through from the past on how you were with God into how you are now. It's going to open your eyes and you're going to see these beautiful things that you wrote and how you were feeling and you can actually understand like hey god is always going to be here for me like i have proof positive i have lots of you know documented experiences with god and just how he's showed up in my life all his wonderful acts that he does in my life and these prayer journals are going to hold that for you so that's one of the ways where i've definitely grown my intimacy with god and that's just writing. Um, I've always been like a writer my entire life. Like I've always just loved to write. So um, when this happened for me, it's just opened up my, my eyes to just another world and another way to connect with God. Because not all the time, even if we're out in public or if we're at a coffee shop or if we're at work at a desk, you know, sometimes on your break, you just pull out your journal and just start writing to God. And that's what I used to do. When I used to go away to work and actually be at a job, I would just tuck my journal into my, um, I always have like, it's so funny. I had my purse when I went to work and I had like an extra note bag where I had like a notebook and I had like uh, pens and highlighters and stuff because I knew that I was going to write in my prayer journal. So being able to just carry it with you, write a prayer out to God, wherever you're at in your life at this time is just so important. It's so good for you. It's, it's good for your soul because like I said, Going back and looking in your prayer journal and, and seeing the emotions that you were feeling and seeing the things that you were going through in your life up until where you are now is actually going to help you in your journey. It's going to help you in your journey with God. It's going to help you in your journey um, with developing this intimacy with him to where you're feeling like you can talk to him about anything and most of it's going to be put into this journal that you can just have, put away and keep, bring out once a month read where your growth is at and just really open up that freshness and that new start with God. So I think one of the ways that you can grow with your intimacy with God is creating a prayer journal specifically for prayers, specifically for the times when you need to vent to God or even just talk to him simply. Um, so that is one of the ways that prayer journaling can help you grow your intimacy with the Lord. I hope this video was able to resonate with anyone out there. Um, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email me at thegratefulspiritfaith at gmail.com. Also for prayer requests, comment down below if you have a prayer journal, how many prayer journals you have and how often do you actually go back into those prayer journals to read all the beautiful, wonderful things that God has done for your life and also about your growth, okay? So comment below, don't forget to like, and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at The Grateful Spirit Faith. 
We have a great biblical sisterhood over there. If you're into encouragement for your soul, right at your fingertips, head over there. Also, our website is up and running at www.thegratefulspiritfaith.com. And we do have a freebies section page. Check that out to pick up your um, Bible reading plan on discovering your identity in Christ. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you take it into consideration and I hope this video resonates with you and I hope that you start your prayer journaling journey today. All right, have a good day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.